Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Wednesday afternoon weather webcast for July 30th, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. If I didn't tell you the date and you went outside and just felt it, you might think we were in September or early October. Just gorgeous weather in the wiregrass today. Low humidity, comfortably warm temperatures, only a handful of spots close to 90 degrees this afternoon. It has been a really nice Wednesday. Looks like we get one more day of this type of weather before things start to transition uh, back to, you know, normal midsummer weather. Low temperatures this morning, yeah, it was nice. 63 in Dothan and Ozark, 61 in Enterprise. A couple of spots dipped below 60, 58 in Troy and 59 in Abbeville. But no matter where you were this morning, even down near the beaches, it was comfortable. 68 down in Panama City with low humidity. And speaking of uh, great weather, no clouds really to speak of. A few white puffy humulus clouds and some high level cirrus clouds streaking across the sky. That was it in the wiregrass this afternoon. Right now, temperatures are in the middle and upper, uh, actually upper 80s, only a few spots in the upper 80s. Blakely, Donaldsonville, Andalusia, and Panama City in the upper 80s at 88 degrees, but everyone else, 84, 85, or 86 degrees with very low dew points. When you see dew points below 60 degrees in July, that's living right, and that's what we're having right now. One more day of this, and then things start to change. So enjoy it while it lasts. The southeast U.S. mainly clear. A little sea breeze actually developed uh, off the Carolina coastline and Georgia coastline of the Atlantic, uh, but most of the southeast has remained rain-free. Complex of showers and thunderstorms, upper level force uh, in the Great Plains, and that's some much needed rain for folks out there after uh, a couple of really hot weeks. And they're welcoming that rain with open arms and the big trough of, uh, of low pressure off the coast uh, in the Atlantic causing some storms firing along that front, but uh, most of the southeast looking good. Some also showers down in uh, the Florida Peninsula down south uh, in central and southern Florida. There are your temperatures right now in the 80s for most, uh, some 90s, 90 in Tampa, 91 in Miami. Uh, we're at 88 in Jacksonville. Nashville's at 82. Little Rock at 78. Seeing the outer fringes of that rain and cloud cover. Houston, a very warm and muggy 92. But you see the dew points right now. Pretty comfortable stuff. Can't argue with that. We'll see uh, these dew points remain for most of uh, the Deep South uh, for at least the next day, Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday. Some clouds moving in, but uh, those clouds, I think, will stay north of us. Could see some clouds around for tomorrow afternoon, but again, all dry for tomorrow afternoon. Friday will be a little bit different day. Moisture will start to come back. We'll see some showers triggered. I think our real rain chances don't start, though, until the weekend. Check out the future temperatures for tomorrow morning. We'll see lows in the middle 60s once again, very close to where they were this morning for tomorrow morning. Maybe a couple of degrees warmer in some spots. And a couple of degrees warmer for the afternoon highs too tomorrow. Upper 80s and a few spots getting in to the low 90s, but uh, not a whole lot. And the temperatures will still be below average even if we get to the upper 80s and close to 90 degrees, seeing as our average high this time of year for late July is uh, 92. So a pretty nice way to end July. Looks like the beginning of August, though, will be a little bit different than the end of this month. Uh, so we appreciate you uh, clicking on the uh, Afternoon Weather webcast. If you have any questions or comments or criticisms or suggestions for the webcast, go ahead and leave those at any of the social media sites down there at the bottom of your screen. We'll see you back here on Thursday. Enjoy your Wednesday.